from thou our lips. And our mouths shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lamb's high banquet we await In snow-white robes of royal state And now the Red Sea's channel past To Christ our Prince we sing at last Upon the altar of the cross his body has redeemed our loss, and tasting of his was yet blood. Our life is it with Christ in God. At Paschal Eve, God's arm was bent, the devastating angels bent. My strength of hand our hosts went free from Pharaoh's ruthless tyranny. Now Christ our Passover is slain, the Lamb of God that knows no stain, the true oblation of the day, our Lord our never O thou from whom hell's monarch flies, O great, O very sacrifice, your captive people are set free, and endless life restored in thee. For Christ arising from the dead, from conquered hell victorious fed, he thrust the tyrant down to chains, and paradise for us regains. Maker of all, to thee we pray, fulfil in us your joy today. When death assails, grant, Lord, that we May you share your Paschal victory. To you who dead again does live, all glory, Lord, your people give. All glory as is ever meet to the Father and to the Paraclete. Psalms 128, 129, 130, and 131. Blessed are all they that fear the Lord and walk in his way. For thou shalt eat the labours of thine hands, for well is thee, and happy shalt thou be. Thy wife shall be as the fruitful vine upon the walls of thine house. Thy children like the olive branches round about thy table. Lo, thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. The Lord from out of Zion shall so bless thee, 
that thou shalt see Jerusalem in prosperity all thy life long. Yea, that thou shalt see thy children's children, and peace upon Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Many a time have they fought against me from my youth up. May Israel now say, Yea, many a time have they vexed me from my youth up, but they have not prevailed against me. The plough is ploughed upon my back, and made long furrows. But the righteous Lord hath you in the snares of the, ungo of the ungodly in pieces. Let them be confounded and turned backward, as many as have evil will at Zion. Let them be even as the grass growing up on the housetops, which withereth therefore it be plucked up. Whereof the mower filleth not his hand, neither he that bindeth up the sheaves his bosom. So that they who go by say not so much as the Lord prosper you. We wish you good luck in the name of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Out of the deep have I called unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O oh, let thine ears consider well the voice of my complaint. If thou, Lord, wilt be extreme to mark what is done amiss, O Lord, who may abide it. For there is mercy with thee, therefore shalt thou be feared. I look for the Lord, my soul doth wait for him. In his word is my trust. My soul fleeth unto the Lord, before the morning watch, I say before the morning watch. O Israel, trust in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his sins. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <laughs> Lord, I am not high-minded, I have no proud looks. I do not exercise myself in great matters, which are too high for me. But I refrain my soul and keep it low, like as a child that is weaned from his mother. 
Yea, my soul is even as a weaned child. O Israel, trust in the Lord, from this time forth forevermore. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. First lesson is from the 28th chapter of the book Deuteronomy, beginning at the first verse. If you will only obey the Lord your God by diligently observing all his commandments that I am commanding you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. All these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb, the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your livestock, both the increase of your cattle and the issue of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. The Lord will command the blessing upon you in your barns and in all that you undertake. He will bless you in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. The Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he has sworn to, to you, if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. All the people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you. The Lord will make you abound in prosperity, in the fruit of your womb, in the fruit of your livestock, and in the fruit of your ground, in the land the Lord swore to your ancestors to give you. The Lord will open for you his rich storehouse, the heavens, to give the rain of your land in its season, and to bless all your undertakings. You will lend to many nations, but you will not burrow. The Lord will make you the head and not, not the tail. You shall be only at the top and not at the bottom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I am commanding you today by diligently observing them. And if you do not turn aside from any of the words that I am commanding you today, either to be right or to the left, following other gods to serve them. Here endeth the first lesson. <laughs> My soul doth magnify the Lord. And my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me and holy is his name and his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations he has showed strength with his arm he hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts he hath put down the mighty from their seed and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He 
remembering his mercy, hath holpen his servant Israel. As he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Peter. There, since therefore Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same intention. For whoever has suffered in the flesh has finished with sin. So as to live for the rest of your earthly life, no longer by human desires, but by the will of God. You have already spent enough time in doing what the Gentiles like to do living in licentiousness, passions, drunkenness, revels, carousing, and lawless idolatry. They are surprised that you no longer join them in the same excesses of dissipation, and so they blaspheme. But so they will have to account, to give an account to him who stands ready to judge the living and the dead. For this reason, the gospel was proclaimed even to the dead, so that Though they had been judged in the flesh, as everyone is judged, they might live in the spirit as God does. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be serious and discipline yourselves for the sake of your prayers. Above all, maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining. Like good stewards of the manifold grace of God, serve one another with whatever gift each of you has received. Whoever speaks must do so as one speaking the very words of God. Whoever serves must do so with the strength that God supplies, so that God may be glorified in all things through Jesus Christ. To him belongs the glory and the power for ever and ever. Amen. Here ends the second lesson. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping. That awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia. Lord, now let us, thou thy servant, depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all people to be a light to lighten the gentiles and to be the glory of thy people israel glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, 
suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. Because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us. And take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O Lord, from whom all good things do come, Grant to us, thy humble servants, that by thy holy inspiration we may think those things that be good, and by thy merciful guiding may perform the same. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, Give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Still our journey extermavit, quel atavit dominum, Mortis festem corpant habit, primus torrens hominum, ipsa stella nantinieto, sidero con pescere, corum vera plebem cedat, tire mortis ulcere, o pisimas, stella maris, Opus 
Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God of mercy, God of forbearance, God of forgiveness, who was moved to compassion for the affliction of your people, and who said to the angel devastating your people, hold your hand for the love of that glorious star at whose dearest breast you graciously fed against the poison of our sins. Grant the help of your grace that as your mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Bartholomew, your beloved apostle, and Saint Raphael, your archangel, we be safely freed from every disease and from an, from an unprovided death and that we may be mercifully saved from the assault of utter ruin. Through you, Christ Jesus, King of glory, who live and reign, world without end. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the love of God. And the fellowship of the Holy Ghost. Be with us all evermore. Amen.